Could the pastors please explain 1 Samuel 2.12 regarding Eli's corrupt sons? How did the corruption begin? How did Eli's sons become corrupt? Pastor Paul. Praise the Lord. Well, I, I want to say that um, I want to answer uh, the second part of your question. Amen. Um, they were the sons of uh, Bilal. The scripture reads, I'm going to read the scripture. First, uh, uh, Samuel chapter 2, verse 12 says, Now the sons of Eli were, were sons of Belial. They knew not the Lord. Amen. Uh, this means uh, that Eli's sons were not obeying God. They were not following the commandments of God. They were walking uh, unrighteously. And um, mm -hmm. uh, the scripture doesn't uh, necessarily say how it began. However, at some point in time, they did begin to do those things which were uh, not pleasing in God's sight. And so uh, when it calls uh, Eli's sons the sons of Belial, he, they were the sons of disobedience. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Thornton and then Pastor Maui, you can come right in. We understand that um, Eli, the high priest, did not correct his sons. Uh, and that's why God raises up a Samuel um, in chapter 3 because um, Eli would not correct his boys. They were fornicating with the, uh, the women in the temple. They were taking the money, the offerings, the sacrifice, and they angered God. And Eli knew it and didn't correct him. But the reason why Eli didn't correct, because he was doing things that were out of line. We, we noticed that his eyes were dim. When you study it, he had cataracts. He was eating fatty foods. And the fat, God says, belonged to him. So he was taking part himself of some of the things of God. And God dealt with that whole lineage and that whole generation. Praise the Lord. I know we have several pastors who want to answer that. I even identified one.